ever wish you could connect to the afterlife in hopes of hearing from a loved one? Well, EMT turned medium Matt Frazier says it's been happening to him since he was four years old. He's reached audiences worldwide from A-list celebrities and influencers to everyday Americans on his show on E! He's also a best-selling author. His current book is Don't Wait Till You're Dead, Spirit's Advice from the Afterlife, the book revealing what he's learned from connecting with the other side. And we want to welcome in psychic medium. You may recognize him from E. Matt Frazier now. Matt, welcome. It's great to be here. I'm so excited. Um, Matt, I heard you during the break saying that you were a News Nation fan, so I appreciate that, first of all. I am. My heart's already pounding, and we, <laughs> we just started this conversation. I have to tell you, I am a skeptic. I'm very anxious, because I understand we're doing a reading in a moment. But first, I want to ask, you found this out at four years old, this ability you say you have. What was that like? I got to tell you, in the beginning, it was really hard for me, because being a little boy, I grew up like that movie, The Sixth Sense. Every time I went to bed at night, souls would come to me because they knew that I could hear and see them. But the thing was, is that being so young, just being three, four, five years old, I didn't realize that these were people's family members that had passed on. I just thought they were ghosts. So I did everything that I could to try to make the voices stop. I did everything that I could to try to turn this ability off. But there was one thing. The more that I tried to escape it, the louder that it became. So I spent most of my life doing everything that I could to just be normal. It wasn't until later on in life that I realized this was actually a gift and ability that I could use to help people and show people that there is more to life than what's here in this world. And more importantly, dead does not mean that your loved ones are gone forever. I really appreciate that message. And Matt, I understand um, we're gonna do a reading. I do have other questions to ask you in case nothing comes through, so no pressure. But, but this is the moment that, that I hand the reins to you and you take it away for a moment. Yeah, so absolutely. So what's really cool is that when you come to me, right, you have loved ones that are with you every single day. And what's really cool is that your loved ones in spirit watch over you within your life. And anyone that you've lost in your life can and will come through. And right away, I have a grandmother that's here that's with you the moment I'm connecting. She shows me that she remembers of you of when you were just a little girl here in the physical world. She also tells me that she did not get, excuse me, she did not get to see you before her passing and that you were trying to say goodbye to her before she died. And she just said to me, Matt, you have to tell her it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, the moment I'm speaking to her, she wants to, she, it's, it's so funny because oftentimes she'll me visions and visions are little images. And she shows me that there were things that were sent to you and to certain family members from her. She shows me she was very religious here in the physical world because she's actually shown me rosary beads when I'm connecting. And she says, Matt, th please thank my family for the prayers and also for the candles. She actually just showed me visions of candles being lit in her memory. So your family did that for her? I, I'm not remembering anything with candles specifically, but um, because of the pandemic and travel restrictions, I couldn't be there with her when she passed. I spoke with her on the phone and that was really hard. So hold on, don't say another word. She showed me a vision of candles being lit. I feel it was in your parents' house because I see there were candles that were being lit for her and prayers for her, even though you could not be there physically. So know that she wants to thank your family for that. She's also telling me there was a dog that was just lost as well. So you lost your dog? Not yet. Oh my gosh, knock on wood. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a dog that's here in spirit that she's showing me that's there and with her. It's a little dog that I keep seeing that passed on to the other side. I'm not sure about that. Oh, my dog is still breathe. alive. My dog is still alive. Wait a minute. Alive. Hold on. Yeah. I only talk to the dead. That's okay. the good thing. It shows me. She showed me it looks like a like a shih tzu. Was there a shih tzu in the family that was lost, you know? I'm sorry, I don't think so. <laughs> know that that soul is also there. Now, okay. no, when I connect with pets, yeah. your loved ones in spirit are there with your family members and their pets as well. So pets also come through th uh, during readings because just like us, they have a soul as well. So know that even though you didn't get to say goodbye to your grandmother, she wants to let you know this. She says to me that first of all, she wants to thank you all for the messages that were sent to her. She wants to thank you all for the things that you relayed to her because even though at the end she could not speak, there was somebody that was there that got to see her beforehand and relayed messages and she tells me that. That's true. So know that she is with you every single day. And more importantly, I keep seeing, I keep seeing from the other side that what she really wants you to know is that she's so thankful for those candles, for the prayers, and for everything that you did for her. Oh, Matt, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I have one more closing question for you, for yes. our other viewers. Um, it, before I cut you off, anything else coming through that you wanted to share tonight? I know it's hard Oh my God, spot. not just for you, but you're gonna know as a medium, when I just open up, right, there's all different souls that are stepping forward that are with me. Like even right now in your studio, there's someone that's coming through that tell me that they recently passed of um, a heart attack that I keep hearing about. So know that what happens is, is that when I'm here, are you looking off to the side? You're freaking out. I'm sorry. Okay. We, our floor director is saying he's fine. He's fine. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure. It might, it might so be listen, him. Yeah. 
know that when I'm here, right, I actually hear the departed. So to yeah. me, it sounds like little whispers, right? I pass in this way. I'm this person's grandmother. I'm this person's loved one. And that's what I'll start to hear when I'm connecting. But what's so beautiful is that even when I'm not here and with you, your loved ones are already trying to get in touch with you using signs. It's a language that both the living and the dead can understand. And what's beautiful is that well, even when you're not looking for them, your loved ones are trying to show you that they're still a part of your life. That's a beautiful thing. And Matt, I mean, we live in such divisive times. Any message, you, you see you're a medium with a message. What is your message for everyone about the hope that we should have and that what is waiting for us on the other side? So what I can tell you is this, is that you are not meant to live this life alone. You have angels, you have loved ones, and you have spirit guides that are with you every single day. Life is hard, we go through challenges, but what's so beautiful is this, is that at the end of the day, it's all about the challenges that you overcome. And with you are your loved ones and spirit to help you through those obstacles and those hurdles. So as hard as it is for you to go through something like a divorce or financial hardship or whatever you're going through, remember one thing, your loved ones and spirit don't get nervous because they see tomorrow more clearly than we even see yesterday. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.